court has given the applicant, the complainant, I should say, an adjournment to put its house in order, as it were. There are some documents which are fundamental to the application, which were not included in the application to the court. So they have 14 days to put that, to, to correct that error, as it were. In the meantime, the Chief Justice has expressed his concern that nothing be done to bring the, the Democratic Labour Party into disrepute. And as such, he has ordered that the status quo be maintained. And that status quo is that Mr. Pedro Shepherd, who is the first respondent, is the de facto Secretary of the Party, General Secretary, General Secretary and Mr. Andrea Worrell, who has been acting as president, uh, th that the two of them be allowed to do all things that are necessary for the proper functioning. They should be able to carry out such rules and regulations for the proper functioning of the party and that the substantive holders of those offices be advised by counsel for the complainant accordingly. Um, he expressed his great concern that the party, which has been such an important um, institution in the history of this country, should not be brought into disrepute. So we are back in court um, on the 27th, 26th, 27th, June the 26th, for any hearing. Um, of course, too, the court express its reluctance to get involved in a political matter of an institution which has rules for its proper functioning. And he urged the parties to take that into consideration before they get back before him. Just on record again, just state your name and name. Hal Gollop, King's Council. I've been in association with Mr. Michael, uh, sorry, with Mr. Um, Brian, Barrow. Brian Barrow and uh, Emerald Griffith, Emerald Griffith, Griffith. for Mr. Shepherd. Shepherd, while Mr. Carrington, King's Council, was in association with Mr. Neil Marshall for the second respondent, Mr. Warrell. The attorney on the other side was who? Yeah. Well, Shamar Bovell. Shamar Bovell. And to make it absolutely clear, Mr. Pedro Shepherd, in this interim period, will function as General Secretary, and Mr. Andre Worrell, in this interim period, will function as President, and their work must not be disrupted by anyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I endorse the statement of Mr. Gollop, and I can only hope that common sense prevails, and that the party be allowed to function in the interim. So, in the dignified manner in which yes. we expect a party of this standing and this reputation to function. And um, nothing, those circumstances which have been plaguing it over the past weeks will not continue. Those circumstances which, has, which have brought it into some kind of public, some disrepute as far as the public is concerned. So that is the crux of the matter. I think the public can rest assured that um, provisions are being made for this party to continue on the path which has made it a formidable institution in the history of this country. Um, this is a party that gave the, the country its constitution, and that's very important. It is significant that this is a constitutional matter, and um, I don't see why they should be this concerned that a 69-year-old party that is funded on a constitution and that was instrumental in giving Barbados its own constitution should be in any way prevented from carrying out those rules of its constitution that make for its proper governance. Thank you, Mr. Gollop. You're welcome.